Today, your mobile lab is here to help introduce students not only to kind of the joy and fun of flying airplanes, but the, the jobs and machinery behind building airplanes, manufacturing. Beta coming into the area and also kind of being an innovator and a, and a job promoter in the state gives them another opportunity to take some of the same skills they're learning in milling and craftsmanship and uh, iterative design and rapid prototyping and kind of see what it would look like in a in a field and an industry that they're not as accustomed to because it hasn't been here in the Northeast Kingdom. The time in, in education where we put someone in front of the room who just talks at kids about the world or about math or whatever it is and they become interested, that ship has way sailed. This has to be their journey, it has to be their path, it has to be their choice. So what's happening is when the mobile dome comes out and when we have people like you from Beta here and you're talking to the kids, we're not in the middle of it. It's just between a possible future employer and a possible future employee. I think it's a great way to get kids inspired, take skills that they're learning in high school and see themselves having you know, good, solid, high paying jobs in a growth industry right here in Vermont. I'd say that the things I'm teaching are directly applicable. It's like we're teaching about inspection, we're teaching about manufacturing parts, we're teaching about assembly. So there's a very clear pathway from what I teach in there to what they could be doing on the floor here. Uh, so my name is Sarah Disha, and I focus on workforce development at Beta. One of the, the reasons that we're doing this roadshow is a lot of the positions that we're hiring for are in production. And one of the things that we're hiring for mostly is surrounds carbon fiber. Part of what we do is a lot of outreach about the material itself, but then also we built these demos to showcase the positions um, at Beta. So for example, the composite assembler. If you went on our website and you saw a composite assembler, you might have no idea what that is. So this is our opportunity to go to all 17 tech centers in the state and interact with not only students, but also teachers and really get them kind of tuned into the jobs and the tools and the technology that we're doing. Then we can also build that awareness so that these students who are in these programs like advanced manufacturing and engineering, who are working with a lot of the same tools and building a lot of transferable skills, those are the people that we want to work at Beta in the next few years. So it's really kind of an opportunity for us to build awareness, but also get you know, people really excited about Beta's growth in Vermont because we really want these opportunities to go to Vermonters. Events like this are exciting because, well, first of all, what Beta brings is exciting. It's a different world for them, and it's a way to experience flight in a really hands-on and um, accessible manner to them. There are job opportunities, and we would like to see them better filled. A lot of our manufacturing partners have told us that they could essentially double their production in a year if they had the workforce here in the kingdom to do it. What we really want to do is we want to be that place that trains them and that gets them right into that pipeline. I don't think you can get much better than this, quite honestly. Maybe if they brought the aircraft and landed on the field, that might uh, top it.